The 2010 draft was this morning, aka January 15th, but it was this morning anyway, and um, it was very predictable, I think would be the word, but also very talent filled. So, of course, number one was Tobin Heath going to the Atlanta Bee that surprised this many people. That many. Um, and of course, when Miss Lauren Shaney went to the Boston Breakers, um, fingers crossed she doesn't turn into another A Rod. And then a certain little stamper player, Kelly O'Hara, is off to the Pride, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, you know, I really don't have much to say about the draft because it was generally like that's what happened. Like, there's really nothing really to talk about. Everything was just kind of laid out, predicted, if you will, in certain aspects. But um, one thing that did shock me was okay, so sue me, fire me. Whatever, but I still don't know how know how to pronounce her name. If you do, let me know. Casey Nugiera, Nugoria. I don't even know, and I feel horrible, terrible, and stupid. <laughs> but I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so let me know. But um, she wasn't picked till number eight, which I found really weird. But, but, I like her on the soul. I think that will be very good for her. Very interesting. Definitely be watching her over there, working with, of course, the... I mean, Casey has, um, little spurts of craft, and she's not very consistent as a player, but, um, she is an extremely crafty and, um, at points dynamic. And, um, pairing that with Marta up top, who is... You don't need to say anything else, else about Marta, just Marta, that's all. That's all I need to say. <laughs> um, so pairing her with Marta up there, with Shannon Box feeding them, I think, will be a curious thing to watch. Um, definitely a very curious thing to watch, and we'll see how well they can work together to shred the fences. Um, Marta can do it all by herself, but we'll see how she does with Casey. The other thing I want to touch on in this video is the two huge, like, massive, earth-shaking ceiling coming down trades that happened. Okay, so one was like a couple of, like a week or so, maybe two. No, I think about a week ago-ish. Um, no, it was just earlier this week, wasn't it? Whatever! But Camille Abelie, <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. Um, it's very, I, this is just, just, um, fascinating for me that the LA traded away Camille Abelie. is. I just find it extremely fascinating. Um, wait, oh my goodness, how could LA give up Camille freaking Abilie? But, as I think of pride, is my team and I was ecstatic. But I just find it, I'm just fascinated by this. Like, um, I just want to know what was going through, what Abner Rogers was thinking about, what Camille Abilie was thinking about, what the GM for LA was thinking about, um, what Montoya was thinking about when he convinced them. Just, um, what was going on? I just want to know what was going on, like, behind the scenes. Like, I just, it's, hmm, it's interesting. Someone like Camille Abilie, who was such a huge impact on the soul, to be bopped on away for a little De Tina DiMartino, um, who is very talented, and the pride will miss her, but Camille Abilie trumps her. No offense. And, um, one of the draft picks, and, uh, this international discovery player, who, I mean, they don't release discovery player names until they're signed, so... My guess, and the commissioner said this on Triple F, that, um, if anyone watched the Fox football phone in on Thursday, anybody, anybody, um, well, she was saying that they must have something up their sleeve or something, so maybe it's this international discovery player. Maybe this is a huge player. Dunno. But I can guarantee you it's not a German player, because they don't play outside Germany, and I think that's mean. But that was just crazy and now the pride is going to be beast and just that one move and the pride has already got their prospects way higher than last season especially with O'Hara dude you got Sinclair, O'Hara, Abilly feeding them not even gonna know what's going on, not even gonna know it's gonna be ridiculous like ridiculous and you got Wilson back in the Wilson back you got Chapman in there now and you got this Riley chick don't even know it's gonna be rad, like totally rad, anyway 
Uh, and then the other thing was Lindsay Tarpley, Jillian Lloyd. I was kind of curious about that one too, but um, I mean Lindsay Tarpley didn't really seem to shine very much last year in Chicago. Um, I don't know if that's just me that knows it, but I don't think she really shined shined that much. She didn't have um like a great number of goals in the. Um, I don't know. Like, Tarpley is a really good player, but I just, like numerous players, I don't know if she did all that good going on there, but, um, I guess in Chicago, let go of Caroline Johnson. Like, what is up with that? Johnson was ridiculous in the goal. Who knows what's going on there? Um, but now they got Lloyd in the background, and Lloyd is a good keeper. We'll give her that. A great backup for Solo. Um, but anyway, Savannah so Athletic has got tarps, and, uh, she is supposed to be totally recovered from her ACL by the time, not totally, but, you know, recovered enough to play by the time the WS season rolls around, but injuries are, of course, very tricky little things. So we'll see. Um, Chicago, they're very curious. Like, they're three of their three allocated players, they only have one now, and that one didn't play last season, so all they... But all they got was Marcraft, who's back, who will, of course, bolster their back line ridiculously. But, um, Lloyd is off to Sky Blue, and now Tarps is off to St. Louis. Like, well, okay, <laughs> we'll see. I think the MPS season this year is going to be awesome. And very curious thing to see. Um, I don't know if, uh, the same powerhouse trumpings are going to happen. I don't know if Sky Blue is going to be able to carry their momentum into this season. I don't know if um, maybe LA will topple a little. Maybe the pride will come out of a grave. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> who knows? Maybe, who heck, <laughs> one of the expansion teams could turn into the women's version of the Seattle Sounders and take everyone by storm. You never know. Anyway, I think it'll be awesome.